Learn any tips of the trades, eh? Just a little shake and a shimmer. Lovers of all things food and fun, <laughs> welcome back to How To Foodie Nation, where we learn about trend begonian cooking. Today, we're gonna do a fan favorite, shadow benny sauce. Let's get blending. Kezi, mm -hmm. we have been doing sauces for a little while on past episodes. Yeah. And one of the people have been asking for is shadow benny sauce. Mm. You know, a lot of people not too sure how to make this, but they love it. And I've been seeing it in a lot of our, our dishes here in the Caribbean, especially yeah. in Trinidad Tobago. On how to's, we put shadow benny in everything, right? Pretty Basically. much. I mean, um, I went to Maracas last week, Bacon Shack, and they had shadow benny sauce on top of it. Mm -hmm. And for all the doubles lovers out there, shadow benny sauce. You know, sauce. the vendor to say, do you want some shadow benny sauce? There's so, a fried chicken man in South who puts shadow benny as one of his condiments. So, I mean, it's coming up. As you mentioned that, I'm seeing a lot of local franchise food restaurants that do sandwiches and they're yeah. using shadow benny sauce inside mm -hmm. of it also. So, we had to address it. So, let's get to it. We have our blender. Yes. Of course, the ubiquitous herb here in the Caribbean, shadow benny. It's nice, strong let me, body let me, of ours. Let me address something. Shadow benny, shadow benny. However. It's pretty much... The same thing. Mm -hmm. The proper name, Chardon Benny, C H A D O N. Space. B E N I. Yes. Not Shadow Benny, not like ping pong, ping pong, 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 pong. you're going there. <laughs> That's Shadow. <laughs> Nevertheless, mm -hmm. we have about two and a half cups of fresh Chardon Benny here. Okay. Or also known as Culantro. Okay. All right. So I want to put this in the blender. All right. So I chopped it up into smaller pieces, as you could see, because mm -hmm. I don't want the leaves are very hard to blend if okay. they're in, in lengths. So by putting it up like that, you break it down, so obviously it blends much simpler. A lovely smell of shadow, Benny. It's so bright. And it's, it's, it's pungent, yeah? Two leaves go a long mm. way. I mean, even if you make the sauce, probably like a teaspoon of it might be well in, go well into chow when you yeah. think about it. Ooh. Yeah, there you go, another use. Genius. Could we get some, uh, uh, what is that? It's water first? Water, let's go with water. Okay. Let's go with water first. This okay. is the fluidity for the sauce. We need it, obviously, because this is how we get our nice sauciness going on. Mm -hmm. We have some garlic and pepper there. I've taken the liberty of actually slicing the garlic to break it down so it blends a little more evenly. A piece of hot pepper, no problem with that for a little piece of heat inside Amazing. there. You can omit it if you want. It's not yeah. a problem. All right? Mm -hmm. So a little bit of acidity also. Yeah. And I have lime juice. You could also use vinegar. Okay. I just like the brightness of the lime juice because right. it's fresher. Mm -hmm. Citrus always works well. When you really think about this, it, it's like the same flavors using a chow. It's a garlic, basically, pepper, lime juice. Basically. You know what I mean? And we like our, that astringency when we're cooking with our food, we especially do. with fish. We do. We like that punch. So a little bit of salt inside there also. Now what I want you to do is take the spoon and just press it down because okay. we are going to blend this. So we want to ensure that the leaves and the garlic and everything goes down into the water. So when we start to pulverize this, it actually breaks down in an even manner. Right. All Press right. Down. Let's do this. All right. Cover it up and mm -hmm. we're going on high speed. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go. Then we stop it for a while. As you can see, it's processed below. Yeah. So we're going to mix it up again. Mix and push down again. No, and I really don't want to add too much water inside here, Kessie, because it breaks down the vitality of the Shadow and Benny herb itself. So we, we want, want it to be, be thick. You know the thing. Mm -hmm. she, she, she dressed us like Shadow Benny in green today. <laughs> Learn any tips of the trades, eh? Just a little shake and a shimmer. Let me see, let me see. Look how beautiful that looks. How Lift is it up. That? And you get the little bit of the minced garlic inside there. You could see it. You get it. It's not that diluted because we want a nice vibrant sauce from this. And that's very, very important. If you really think about it. It looks somewhat like green seasoning. It does. It actually does. It, and it smells strong of that great shadow so Benny. Strong. You get the and you get a little bit of the citrus from the lime juice going on inside there. Mm -hmm. And that is very important. So at this point in time. You could feel free to put this inside of a squeeze bottle. We're just going to pour it out into our bowl here. Now, Chef, I've seen a creamier version of this made once before. When you're using garlic like we did fresh, they mm -hmm. use garlic sauce. Yes, well, I mean, at the end of the day, you could use fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. You could also use the garlic sauce inside there yeah. also. But with the garlic sauce that we made earlier in one of the episodes... Link down below. You would have seen that has mayonnaise inside of it. Yes. So if you do that, you're going to have almost like a Shadow Benny mayonnaise cross mm -hmm. hybrid. A creamy kind of And sauce. that's beautiful and that's excellent for fries yeah. when you think about it. So this is what we're looking at here, guys. This beautiful, rich, vibrant Yum. Shadow Benny sauce that goes well. You could use this in your doubles, put a little bit in your chow. Your flying, uh, frying fish at home mm -hmm. works well. Fry shark your by all means. I mean, it's uh, the world of wonders works with this. And this is one of those great herbs and the great sauces that 
Scream Trina and Tobago cuisine. Something we love. So now we've made shadow any sauce. We've made pepper sauce. We made our pineapple barbecue sauce. Yes. We've made garlic sauce. We made tamarind we sauce. Made tamar we made <laughs> tamarind. Wow. We did a lot of sauces thus far on the show. What else can we do? What other sauces are there out there that you guys want us to make? Or even a fusion sauce, like how we talked about shadow belly yes. and garlic sauce. Tell us in the comments below. Or, you know, even dressings. Ooh. Dressings are another big thing, so mm -hmm. maybe let us know. Let us know what you guys are feeling for. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe for more how-tos with us. So until next time, guys, bye-bye.